Okay. Let me get the nail polish. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Danny Bulk. I'm here with. Welcome to Made Up. Made right? Up with Danny Bulk. On Danny's request, we're summoning him up. Right. Through the making of this video. Right. So what is your yours called again? So what do you <clears throat> call it? What is like a good a good like? No, I like what you said. Nail up. Nail with, up. Nail up with Dana B. Nailed. Nailed, there you go. Is that better? That's better, yeah, thank you. Nailed with Dana B? Yeah, you're the wordsmith, right? I think that's enough. It's a lot of colors to fit on your hand. It's a lot of colors. Do you want matte finish? Ma I'm always into matte, but I'll take whatever. <clears throat> and usually, so, this is kind of backwards, because usually Danny, Danny interviews, and he gets the makeup put on. But, but here you're you're doing the manicure, and you're also interviewing. But I guess I could interview you too. What is this? It's a, it's a that's file. a file, yeah. Here's another file. Okay. Hi, uh, welcome to Nailed with Dana B. I'm here with Alberto Aguilar, collaborator of uh, Made Up with Danny Volk, and today we're gonna do a manicure, right? And yeah. This is on. season four. Um, this is approximately episode six, seven. But uh, but you already recorded the last episode, so you guys are so working backwards. We're, we're working backwards. I'm like kind of interested in uh, people's hands because I like nail, you know, nail art and stuff. Yeah. And uh, I feel like this is like your hand that's got all this like stuff, right? My um, like Johnny you have, Johnny Depp bracelets. Well, look, I have a name. Yeah. Oh, so you have the name, thing, the name thing too. And who gave you that name bracelet? Uh, my nanny okay. when I was a baby. Between my mom going back to work and uh, you know having me or whatever, she got a nanny and she was a Cuban woman and uh, she gave me this bracelet. Uh, which is like very Cuban because of the Chinese lettering. Yeah. But I don't know. I yeah, it still fits you. And it's real gold, right? Yeah, it's real gold. But I think when I was a baby, probably gold wasn't quite as expensive as it is now. But I, uh, I don't know. I really like name jewelry. So I like that bracelet. Yeah. Where'd you get that one? Well, this one my mother gave me. You know, when your mom gets you something, you kind of have to wear it. That's true. So that's why I wear or it. Or at least keep it around. I wear it, and I've had it for many years. It's like indestructible. Really? Maybe How many years? I, maybe five, maybe more. I bit my nails very briefly, and my mom is a dental hygienist, and she was very concerned about me and my sister putting things in our mouths, so she scared me out of biting my nails, and I just stopped. But it's hard when you're an artist to keep nice nails, I would assume. I, I cut them all the time, but I wait till they get long. It's kind of like my, my facial hair. Like, I just, I shave it all off, but then I let it grow long, and then I eventually shave it all off again. But uh, my grandmother, <clears throat> she would push her cuticles down, and then eventually she did it so much her nails stopped growing. So I guess we should say we're in Pilsen right now. We're in Pilsen, but we're... We are in a secret garden. We're in your new secret garden. We are in my new secret garden. You could hear the the hustle and the bustle out there. Like you have your little place to hide. Secret garden. And I especially like about this garden is that not only do you have a little place, but it's within your home. But uh, yeah, I worked on the gardening because when we came here, it was very overgrown and dirty, kind yeah. of. Well, the Under, viewer, under love. The viewer is going to have to take my word that this is a really beautiful, intimate garden. But we're on the south side also. We're on the south side. You think this is the south side? I don't, I don't well, consider south, this the south side. This is south of downtown. Yeah. So, so yeah, whatever I mean, you would consider. It is, it is south. It is south. We're 1800, 1900 south, right? Yeah. Um, but I always think of this as west for some reason. Huh. This might interest you, and you probably already know this, but there, there used to be something called Jewtown over here. And Maxwell Street was like a Jewish, uh, I think it was like a Jewish kind of market yeah. place. Right. I mean, now it's predominantly a Mexican neighborhood. 
talk about all the time you spend in Hyde Park. I associate Danny with Hyde Park. Yes, Danny went to University of Chicago, and Danny currently works at the Logan Center. So yes, Danny is, but he doesn't live in Hyde Park. Where does he live? He lives in Logan Square. I have been in Hyde Park, but I've been more in Washington Park. Is that, that's the place where, that's, that's the, where the arts and community yeah, is, yeah, and it's, um, it's west of Hyde Park, mm -hmm. and it's divided from Hyde Park, uh, through the park itself, through Washington Park. And Washington, is Washington Park one of the original parks from 1893, do you know? I yeah, think it is, because that's it, the it, park it where the been. library is going to be? Yeah, it possibly, either there or Jackson Park. Yeah, I think both of those parks are yeah. from the Columbian Exposition. Right. So, I mean, the Columbian Exposition is kind of what brought me here Brought you Chicago. Where? How did that bring you here? I wrote my undergrad thesis about city planning, but yeah. it was kind of the catalyst for me right. to become interested in this place. What's the uh, most interesting thing? I'm only letting you say one thing that you found about the Columbian Exposition upon coming to Chicago. Uh, I think how little it's remembered. Like, putting the Presidential Library in Chicago is cool, but I'm a little dubious about putting it in the park. Okay, you don't like it for that reason? Well... You don't, you don't think that history should be messed with? It seems like there's a lot of space on the south side. Right. And so, it seems to me that uh, there are other good places. Mm -hmm. Park space is always very contentious space because it's great to develop on, but mm -hmm. I don't know that people want to lose park space. Yeah. Well, where did you, and, but you and Danny didn't really work in Hyde Park so much, did you, as much as you worked, like, around? The first day that Danny and I met, we met at Soho House. Did you record your first meeting? No, and it was actually uh, an interview. It was an interview? Yeah. Who interviewed? I interviewed him to be my collaborator. Oh, right. So what did he say in the interview that made you want to... I think I already wanted to work with him because I knew what he did. I like, that's what I really like about Danny's work. <clears throat> that he just put this thing out into the world and made himself very public. Yeah. And, I, I, you know, I felt like I knew him long before I met him because I watched the show. Um, we're not, we don't joke around a lot together, which is weird. We have a very serious relationship. Like so it's, it's your very, collaboration is yeah, all business? Except for when mm -hmm. we did the variety show. Yeah. We, that, that's the most playful that you'll see us. It was a little playful, but it was you guys kind of directing each other <laughs> like through the cues. Yeah. But also like very like respectful of one another yeah. in this way that made you seem like collaborators but do you you're only collaborating on made up or are you guys doing other stuff um only on made up actually on this email when i was trying to meet him before i left he said we don't need to meet anymore <laughs> he said you could do these you know like there's other ways that we could have continue this collaboration without meeting so that's what's going on here you're you're taking his place well, or you're taking his place. Or I'm taking his place. Maybe a couple of weeks ago, you kind of acted offended a little bit that, like I didn't invite you as one of the the guests on the variety show. I should think of you also as an artist, right? I mean, I write, and I think that my writing is kind of creative, or I hope that it yeah. is, you know, more than just straightforward reporting. But I'm And that's sort of what Danny does also, right? Like he, he sort of exists, through doing the show, he kind of exists in that sort of in-between space. Right, like in support of artists. Right, no, and I, that's like what I think is cool and interesting about the project. Yeah. Well, and are you all done with this? I think we're done, okay. yeah. Because I could also, I want to do a close-up. Like of the, usually, oh, in, yeah, yeah. usually in Made Up with Danny there's, there's a reveal. Yeah.